Hey, Charger History. Today's essential question is, what were the religious beliefs of ancient Egyptians? Please skip one line and copy the essential question neatly across your page. Pause your video to copy. Now draw your vertical line for your notes. So yesterday we learned about the social structure of ancient Egypt. Do you remember why the pharaoh was so respected by the people of Egypt? To Egyptians, religion was very important. Remember that religion means belief and worship in a god or gods. Like Mesopotamians, Egyptians were polytheistic. Copy your first central idea, Egyptian religion. Egyptians were polytheistic, meaning that they believed in many gods. Like Mesopotamian gods, Egyptian gods also reflected what was the most important to them. Ra was the sun god. He was the center of earth and all things. He created everything. This shows us that to Egyptians, the sun was the source of all life. Another important god was named Hapi. Hapi was the god of the Nile River. Look at Hapi, he's blue like the river, and he's carrying all this food, water birds, fruit, in his hands. Why do you think he's doing that? Unlike Mesopotamian gods, Egyptian gods were not so harsh and unpredictable. Many historians infer that the reason that Egyptian gods are more gentle is because the Nile River was more gentle. Remember from Tuesday that the Nile was less likely to have dangerous floods or droughts. When the Tigris and Euphrates flooded, you never knew what they would do. Since the Mesopotamians believed that the gods controlled the floods and droughts, they thought that their gods were angry and harsh. But since the Nile was a kind, gentle river, the Egyptians saw kind and gentle gods taking care of them. Please copy your second detail, that the Egyptians believed in generous, gentle gods. After death, Egyptians believed that there was a glorious afterlife, but only if you could make it there. In the afterlife, you ate and drank and hung out with other relatives and friends who had passed away. Many Egyptian gods had to do with the afterlife and how to get there, so we know that life after death was really important to the Egyptians. Go ahead and copy your third detail, that the Egyptians believed in a rewarding afterlife. Pause if you need more time to copy. So in order to make it to the afterlife, your body had to be mummified. Yup, that's right, like a mummy. Ah! But mummies were not just scary monsters in ancient Egypt. Mummification had a religious purpose. It was to preserve your body so that your soul could then walk into the afterlife. The god of mummification was named Anubis. Anubis had the head of a jackal, which is an animal that's kind of like a coyote. And he was the one who people believed was in charge of everything to do with mummies. So the soul of a dead person had to pass through a dark, spooky underworld in order to make it into the afterlife. Notice how dangerous this looks. There's snakes, there's these alligator monster creatures, and you're trying to paddle in a river full of these things. There's that guy with the daggers. If your soul and body could make it through this underworld, then you would reach the god Osiris. Osiris was the judge of the underworld. Once you got to him, you would stand and, and let him judge you to decide if you, could be make, if you were allowed to make it into the afterlife. In your notes, draw these boxes. You should have five boxes total. And the last box should say, you made it to the afterlife. On the left side of your line, please write journey to the afterlife. You will be watching a video and writing the steps that it took for a soul to pass through to the afterlife. In each box, I want you to either write or draw the steps that a person had to go through. 
Go ahead back to your playlist to watch the video about what it was like to go through the underworld and make it to the afterlife. As you watch, please fill in your boxes with either writings or drawings.